Hi, it's Lex McKee, and this is for my channel, The YouTube Guy, because that's one of my ambitions. And I thought we'd have an honest chat today about why you should start a YouTube channel, why you wouldn't start a YouTube channel, how to start a YouTube channel, and all these things that go through our minds. First of all, I'm going to go to an amazing tool called Question Samurai, and I've typed into that how to start a YouTube channel. And this goes out to Google and to YouTube and looks at what people are searching for right now. So here's the list for YouTube. How how, double, this is what people have typed in. How how to start a YouTube channel. How much money do you need to start a YouTube channel? How old do you have to be to start a YouTube channel? How old should you be to start a YouTube channel? How to how to start a YouTube channel. It's fascinating what people type in how to know if you should start a YouTube channel, etc. Uh, so we're going to answer some of those questions and then let's uh, look at the why one. How can we start a YouTube channel? So even though I've typed in why start YouTube channel, uh, the next one is why should I start a YouTube channel? Why should you not start a YouTube channel? Why should you start a YouTube channel? And why should you start a YouTube channel 2020? So these are questions which are going through people's minds. And I wanted to start with my story and to say, why should you not start a YouTube channel? And these are reasons which are personal to me. I'm fat, I have crooked teeth, and I'm nearly 60. So one of the questions there was, how old should you be to start a YouTube channel? I think they're thinking about the other end of the age spectrum. There you go, hang on a minute, Lex. What's fat got to do with starting a YouTube channel? What's crooked teeth got to do with starting a YouTube channel? And what's age got to do with it? And the answer is nothing. However, those are three reasons my brain gave me for not starting a YouTube channel. The inner dialogue said, you're too fat, nobody will like you. You've got crooked teeth, so you daren't smile on camera. And you're too old. YouTube is for young folks who are cool and trendy, who people want to be like. Well, let me give you seven, I think it's 7.8 billion reasons why you should start a YouTube channel. Firstly, there are about 7.8 billion people on the planet now. Not all of them are on YouTube, but a lot of them are. I think it's two billion on YouTube. We can look that up, but the point is billions of people are on YouTube. If fat, crooked teeth and old were issues, do you think there might be some people on YouTube who would be very excited to find out what you can achieve if you're fat with crooked teeth and old? Now that's not what this channel is about, except it is. The purpose of this channel is to give you faith and hope and belief and love to do your own YouTube channel. Because if we just say seven billion people on the planet for a start, you are one in seven billion. And one way of looking at that is that you have a totally unique message to bring to the right audience. Finding the right audience is part of the how to build a YouTube channel. But I want you to get that into perspective as well. When, at the time of going to press with this video, I've got 16 subscribers, not 16,000, not 16 million, 16. Some people would say, quit while you're behind. I would say, if I can make a difference to 16 people in my life, that's 16. The return on investment is huge. If you came into the world and you made life better for 16 different people, one to 16 is a huge return on investment. So my channel would be worth it for my 16 subscribers. My productivity channel, where it does what it says on the tin, it's about being productive in your life, very useful for YouTube developers as well, um, has 97 not 9,700, not 97 million, not 97,000, 97 subscribers. If I could make a difference to 97 subscribers, that would be a life worth living. So the odds are in your favor in the sense that you can make a difference 
to other people's lives with your wisdom, your experience. I've been through a lot of suffering, right? Not like some people, but through a lot of misery. And I've transformed it like the alchemy, emotional alchemy into something worthwhile. If I can share that with other people, they don't have to go through the same suffering or they can be understood as they go through the same suffering. YouTube is an amazing gift to the world. I can reach out to anybody who speaks English round the world. So you really should start a YouTube channel. Let's have a look at the questions on the how. How to start a YouTube channel. How much money do you need to start a YouTube channel? Very little. Your phone and your phone subscription are the basics. This is a microphone made. Can't see it there, but I'll stand up for a bit. I'm a little fluffy there. That's a microphone made for smartphones. And I hope you agree. The sound quality is pretty amazing. I'm in a windy garden on a beautiful day, but there's wind. The fluffy thing on it. Make sure that that wind doesn't distract too much. So the investment there is, I think that's 50 pounds. I'm in the UK, uh, 15 quid for the fluffy thing. So we got that 65. Your smartphone is something you're going to have anyway. There you go. You're off and running. Now that's a half truth. You know, I've got an expensive computer to create the videos and I run Final Cut Pro, which is amazing. It's a piece of software you buy once and that's it. So it's unlike the subscription model of Adobe. And I like it for that reason. I like it because it's easy to use as well. So maybe you are looking at thousands of pounds to get going when it comes to editing the stuff, but you can edit on your smartphone and you can upload from your smartphone direct to YouTube. So don't allow those barriers to come in. And you're gonna have things going through your head as well. You may, you may be slim. You may say, oh, I'm too slim to start a YouTube channel. You might be very young. You might go, oh, I'm too young to start um, a YouTube channel. You might have perfect teeth. You go, oh, I've got perfect teeth. I can't start a YouTube channel because people will be trying to date me or something. Just get over it. It's just noise. What you have got is you and a unique message for YouTube. So you don't need a lot of money to get going and actually, it's worth having the practice anyway with just the basics, because if you can produce a compelling story and message with a smartphone, you can create your vlog anywhere, can't you? I like tech. I like it. I'm filming on a Sony A6300 here with a good monitor so I can see that I'm in frame. The microphone setup I know works now. I trust my kit. It's on a slider so I can do some really interesting things, but you don't need all that to get started. Looking at these questions here. So, how to start a YouTube channel and what to do and what you need. So, we've already covered about what you need. Uh, what to do is there are some things that are really important. If you want 16 subscribers on one channel and 97 on another, you've got to follow some of the best principles, the best practice, which is the quality of your thumbnails is really important because that's the first thing that most people see who don't know you. You can build your channel to my levels with people that know you, just invite them and they, they won't worry about the thumbnail. But when it comes to attracting some of those billions of people out there who are going to resonate with your message, the first thing they're going to see is the clarity of your thumbnail. So that needs to be clear with a few words that spell out a benefit of watching your video. And there are some amazing tools. I love Question Samurai for its simplicity. It's a good point, actually. I'm sure you can hear the dogs going bonkers there. My neighbor's dogs. You know, you don't need a studio. Just build it into the story. I'm here in the garden in uh, most unusual weather for the UK. I don't want my world viewers to think that the UK is like California. It isn't. <laughs> but we have had some beautiful weather, beautiful weather, but there's noise around me. This should be quite discreet, so you'll hear the dogs off in the background rather than too much in your face. But you just deal with it, you'll roll with it. So what was I gonna say? So what do you need? Thumbnails is really important, and the tools to know what people are looking for. So I'm gonna recommend three tools that do very similar things. Question Samurai is just simple, I love it. Type in what you think you'd like to be found for, and it will tell you what people are actually looking for. VidIQ is a great way to get keyword optimization, and I've been using TubeBuddy, not at a very 
uh, com competent level, I'm, I'm learning the tool, but TubeBuddy is cited and vidIQ are cited by many successful YouTubers, successful in terms of subscribers, to um, really help them hone the message to fit what people are looking for. So if you can get that magic Venn diagram overlap of what you love and are good at with what people are looking for, there is a YouTube channel waiting for your content. And I just want to say something here. One of the nice things about YouTube is that if I big up somebody else's channel, it does them good and me. The fact that the kit is set up in the way it is today is that I watched a video from 2013, seven years ago, last night, because I wanted to understand how much better to use my slider, and these things you put the tripod head on. You know, and this young man shared some moves on the slider, but he said one thing that's transformed my slider technique, which is to put the ball head on the top of the slider. Before I'd had a professional video head, which I thought was ideal for the slider, the ball head is so much better. Now I'm going to give him a shout out in the information bit so you can go and see his video. But that generosity goes on giving. It was 2013 that he did the video. It's still high in the self and the search engine optimization and it's still helping people. So don't delay. Doesn't matter what you look like, doesn't matter what you sound like, though good audio helps. Um, doesn't matter what kit you've got. What does matter is that you have a message that's unique to you. Be more you. Get out there and start producing content. And if you build it, they will come. This has been Lex McKee from the beautiful garden in Dorset in the UK in the middle of June. Wishing you a brilliant future.